Uh, Shalom, first of all, giving all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Brakathah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all your lucky brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother, not by Ayasha, the GMS Indianapolis camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with an encouraging video, video stating no matter what you're going through in life or the obstacles you got to overcome, always keep your faith in your how about Shimei was shot because we got to go through this in order to get to the kingdom, man. Like the scriptures say, the servant is no greater than his master. So everything that you how about Shimei was shot had to go through, we had to go through it also. You see what I'm saying? This is dealing with Luke chapter 6, uh, starting in verse 20. It said, and he lifted up his eyes on his disciples. Who was that talking about? Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Who is looking on his his disciples? Meaning what? Under a tutor. Where are those disciples, disciples back here again today? Lord willing, I'm one of those men. It says, and he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, blessed be ye poor. So it's a blessing to be, be poor. You see what I'm saying? But it's what? A blessing to be rich in what? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But he said, blessed be ye poor. Poor in what? The, the financial means, the, the financial aspects of this world. You see what I'm saying? Because why? The Lord is not looking for the rich. He's looking for the meek and humble. So he said, blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of, of the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He said, what is ours? The kingdom of the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See what I'm saying? Why? Because we're not considering the cares of this world. We don't give a damn about this world. We can care what goes on in this world. Our mind is focused on what? Pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the cares that, that, that pleases him. His cares. His thoughts. See what I'm saying? What he loves. You see what I'm saying? It said, blessed are ye that hunger now. So what if you ain't got a million dollars and you're hungry? So what? The Lord said, Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. How are we going to be filled? In the kingdom of heaven. Also, when all hell break loose, when martial law take place. The Lord said his, his men are going to eat. See what I'm saying? It said, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now. Yeah, we're sighing and crying for all the abominations to be done in the misery. But it said, blessed are ye that weep now. Why? Because we're going to get that eternal gift, which is what? The kingdom of heaven, Lord willing, we some of those men. We're striving to be of the elect. We're striving to be his, cho his chosen. So the Lord said, Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. When we're going to laugh? In the kingdom of heaven. When all hell break loose. Because the Lord said he's going to laugh through us at the uh, two-thirds calamities. And the rest of these heathens in the world, he said he's going to laugh through, uh, through us at their calamity. So we were, we're weeping and crying and sighing right now, but guess what? The Lord said, we're going to laugh. Read on verse 22. It said, blessed are ye when men shall hate you. So what if don't nobody in this world love you? Guess what? You how about Shimei and Shai, what? The world hate you because it hated me first. So if the world hates you, how Shai, guess what? He's going to hate his followers also. See what I'm saying? So, so what if the world hate you? That's a good thing. That means what? You're doing the right thing. You're following the right doctrine. You're in the right truth. You see what I'm saying? Because the scripture also tell you, woe when, when men speak well of you, so as they did their fathers before time. You don't want nobody saying, hey, brother, hey, good job, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. You want the world to hate you. Why? Because that lets you know you're on point. You're doing the right thing. I love being an underdog. I've always been that way in my life. I've always been in the, in the, in the back. I never wanted to be out there in the forefront in the open street. No, on front street. No, out of sight is out of mind. It said, blessed are you when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. So what if you ain't got no friends in the truth? That's a good, th a good thing. That keeps you away from temptation. They keep you out of trouble. You don't have to get caught up in no uh, situation that you didn't want to be in. Why? Because you don't put yourself in that situation in the first place. So guess what? In this truth, you live a solitary life, and that's a good thing. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because you focus more on the Lord. Yeah, yeah, you have your everyday struggles trying to balance your life out between work, family, and, and doing the work. But at the same time, it's a good thing to be to yourself. 
that way you ain't, gotta get, you ain't gotta worry about getting caught up in no type of misfortune in situation. You see what I'm saying? It says, uh, and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Man, or not, man, he done went crazy. Well, in the two-third world, they call him Carlos. Man, Carlos done went crazy ever since he started preaching that Bible. He don't hang around us no more. All he talking about doing the right thing for the Lord. Man, that nigga crazy. You see what I'm saying? That's a blessing when when the two-thirds cast you away from their presence, when they don't want to hang around with you no more. So you ain't got to worry about smelling no stinking weed smoke. You ain't got to worry about smelling no stinking cigarette smoke. You ain't got to worry about committing no adultery. None of this stuff, man. You ain't got to worry about hanging with no homosexuals. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Why? Because the Lord got you in his bosom. He got you protected under his fellas. See what I'm saying? Long, long as you keep striving for perfection and keeping your mind focused on your how about shit me out shy, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You, yeah, you deal with your everyday life situations, but at the same time, the Lord shields you and protects you from this outside world. You see what I'm saying? And that's a beautiful thing when men call you evil. I love standing up for righteousness. Because the scripture tell you, woe to them that they call uh, evil good and call good evil. See what I'm saying? So when you stand up for righteousness, when you be a man for your how about shimmy alpha shot, that's a blessing when, me, when people don't want to be around you and speak evil of you. So all you brothers out there, hey, don't be worried about what people say, man. Don't, worry, don't be worried about what people do. Don't be worried about if you ain't got no friends or no, one, or no woman want to talk to you or be with you. That's a blessing. The Lord is keeping you from getting a headache with dealing with this woman or dealing with this, this type of dude. See what I'm saying? Keep your mind and focus on your how about Shimei was shot, and he will take take care of the rest. Like the, like the scripture tell you, if the Lord, your how about Shimei was shot, be with you, who could be against you? The Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. As long as you keep that in mind, keep pressing toward the mark, keep sighing and crying, keep fighting for the truth until the end, and the Lord will fight for you, every, everything else will be all right, bro. You see what I'm saying? So with all that, so with that, all praises to you. How about Shimei was shot? Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all your elect brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. Hey, remember, no, so what if you don't have a woman? So what if you don't have friends? Only friend you need and the only woman you need is a knowledge of and understanding of the scriptures, which is the words of Yahweh by Shem Shah. With that, death to America, death to Indianapolis, Kwam Yashallah, Kwam Bakar, Shalom.